Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I found. But first, I want to say a big thank you to all of you out there that have been telling me that Dollar General has the bigger bottles of the LA's Totally Awesome laundry detergent for a dollar. So many of you have commented telling me that I was near Dollar General, so I went ahead and ran in, and they did. A dollar for the 32 load. I think that is great. This is the only Dollar General item I have, guys. Everything else is Dollar Tree, but I wanted to go ahead and show you, let you know it is out there, and you guys were right. And it is the LA's Totally Awesome Stain Lifter Laundry Detergent Clean Fresh Scent 64 Fluid Ounces 32 Loads for a dollar. I did go ahead and pick up two of them. I think it's an incredible deal and this works great for us. You know, the only time we have super dirty, dirty clothes is if hubby is really, you know, getting heavy duty outside with the yard work. Other than that, our clothes aren't super dirty. So I can't vouch for how this works on if you're a mechanic or something like that. But for us, this works amazingly well and 32 loads. I think it's great for a dollar. So if you guys are in Dollar General, check it out. I think that was great. And thank you guys very much for letting me know that. <clears throat> I don't know if I bought, oh yeah, I bought, I bought my Kiss nails too while I was in there. And these are the ones that I go to all the time. It's like the French tip nude or something like that is what they're called. They were four bucks. So I did pick up those from the Dollar General. And I think that was about all I got. But I'm telling you what, the Dollar General, when it came to like their, their household stuff, their decor, their bedding, towels, that they had some really nice things. So I may be checking out Dollar General a little bit more in the near future as well. So I'm gonna go ahead now and get back to my Dollar Tree haul. I saw this sign and you guys, I've been saying I'm over the whole wordage on things. But this one I liked. It caught my eye and I just thought the the colors, the just simplicity of it was so pretty. It has the beautiful gold oak leaf that it is like 3D or whatever you want to call that. It comes off the page. So if you guys would need a, a leaf or something, I'm sure if you could probably pop that off somehow. And it says Autumn Blessings in gold foil. It's not glittered or anything, just the gold foiling so simple so pretty it does have the jute hang cord and you could take it off very easily you could cut it off whatever if you just want to set it somewhere and it's just called wall decor i thought that was so nice and they did have other styles as well but this is the one that really caught my eye beautiful just the simplicity of it i, I don't know what it was about that it it just said, take me home. And then something a little bit boring. We needed some of the button batteries for a remote. And of course, I didn't write it down. Hubby couldn't remember what we needed. So we ended up picking up a couple of the packs of button batteries. And it ended up being the one that ends in 32. The number is what we needed. So these will just go in my little my little um, box that I have for batteries. They're the E-Circuit. This was the CR2025, and this is the, and they are lithium button cell batteries. This was the 2016, and you get two pieces in there. I think that's a pretty good deal. If you would go to, to another store to find button batteries, you will definitely pay more than $1.25. So these will just go, and if we need them for something in the future, I will have them. But it seems like almost every remote that we have that takes that type of thing. I know what it was for. It was for the um, the clicker for our vehicle, our one our one truck, is what we needed it for. The um the little key fob, and it ended up being the thirty two. But I'll have these for something else. All right, which way do I go? They have elves now everywhere in the stores, so I picked two up while they were there because these will fly off the shelves. People are so crafty with these. They buy them up and they use their Cricut machines and write the kids' names on them and all types of things. But these are for me for when we go up to Allison and Brian and Harper and London's for Thanks Hunt Miss. The elves come along and they do all kind of little pranks and give little treats and things like that. 
So I picked them up while I saw them and I got one boy and then the girl. So I picked up one of each and they had different um, skin tones as well. But I just picked up one of each of these. Their little blonde hair is peeking through. She needs a little, she needs a little assistance here, groomed a little bit because there's something sticking out from under her hat, but I'll take care of that. So picked up two while I saw them because they're never there when I need them. And then I think only one food item, but it's actually two. They had this front porch lemonades. This is pomegranate flavored and it is a 20 fluid ounce pomegranate lemonade. And this one is strawberry kiwi lemonade. The best buy on the strawberry kiwi is March of 24. And I don't see a Best Buy on the other one. So I'm assuming it's about the same. So we're gonna go ahead and give these a try and see how, how they are. So we just picked up one of each. I believe we tried this brand a while back, but I don't think it was those flavors. I think it was just like a traditional lemonade and maybe a blueberry. I'm not, I can't remember, it's been a while. And then I picked this up, guys, just to show you. <clears throat> this is the... um door insulation kit by Toolbench Hardware. It says reduce energy costs, clear insulation shrink film, keeps out drafts, humidity, insulates one window, and it is 84 by 36. So I thought if anybody would need this type of thing, you know, we're getting closer to the cold months. If you guys need this type of window door insulation type stuff, it is in the stores right now. So keep an eye out for it if you need it. And it does have like a tape roll. Yeah, there's a tape roll in there as well. I can I can feel it back here. So you just tape this around your window or door and then go ahead and and then use your hair dryer and shrink it. So if you need it, it is there. And I thought these were interesting. So I wanted to give them a try. These are by Be Pure. Be Pure is everywhere in the stores and they are called blemish patches. It says absorbs oil and residue, helps clear blemishes overnight while you sleep. And they say they're non-medicated. So I'm not quite sure how they work, but there's no medication in there. So if you guys know anything about these things, but I have seen people talking about these and saying they work very well. And every once in a while, you know, I get a little breakout and I just figured I saw them on the shelf. They were fully stocked. Go ahead and give them a try. And you get 24 in there. Let's open it real quick and just see what, oh, it's in, a, it's in another little envelope. And they're just little tiny dots. And it looks like they are different sizes. So I'm gonna try that when I need it or if maybe one of the grandkids sees it, maybe they would want it. But why not? Give it a try for $1.25. And then, we saw these really pretty butterfly stickers. And these are 3D. It looks like their wings kind of stick off the off the lower sticker. And I just thought these are pretty. It's an eight count by Crafter Square, and it says they pop up. So I thought the littlest grand lady might really get a kick out of a sticker like this. We've never bought her a really fancy sticker. So pick that up for her just to see what she thinks of those. Nice. I don't look a lot at the, the fancier type stickers because I don't use them. And then we had bought a big bag of apples and I thought I had an apple core corer and I didn't. I swore I had one in the drawer. I don't have no idea where it got off to or even if I had it because usually I just slice apples by hand. But I thought, why not have one of these? And it's by Cooking Concepts, Dishwasher Safe, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the package because I will wash this up as soon as I'm done here. It does have the metal, the metal actual slicer part. And you just, you wash your apple and then you just line it up. This is where the core would be. And you push down and it slices the apple for you. So I wanted one just to make life a little bit quicker and easier. And yeah, it's almost time for me to make my apple pies. So I'm going to give this a try. If you guys have tried these, let me know. It does feel sharp, so be careful with that. It seems nicely made too, very heavy duty. So that was where all like the kitchen utensils are, the 
forks and knives and spoons and big slotted spoons, all of that. And in that same area, I found more of the sink mats. So I picked up two more just to have on hand because people are scooping these up. So these are just gonna go in the cabinet until I need them. But we have been using the other set that I showed here a while back. It's been in the sinks, our sinks ever since. We have two sinks side by side in the kitchen at two bowls, I guess, in the sink. They are working great. And here just a few days ago, I had made hot wings for football Saturday and I wasn't careful about rinsing. I, I make my own like with Frank's Red Hot and butter in a pot and then put it over the wings. I rinsed that pan out and I dumped it right in the sink over top of this because I was curious to see how bad they would stain because their other ones, the really flimsy clear ones they have, they stain so fast it didn't stain. And even Hubby saw that right away. And he's he commented about how much nicer these are. And a lot of you ask why you never heard of a sink mat. Why do you need a sink mat? It just protects the bottom of your sink. You put that down, you know, if you put something hard, a pot, pan, cookie sheet, you throw silverware, whatever in your sink, it just protects the bottom of your sink from getting scuffed up, chipped, whatever. And if you would set a glass on this, they're they're kind of kind of a, I can't say super grippy, but it has a slight texture to it. So when you put your glass on there, it's not just going to slide and fall over. And I like them. I have used sink mats forever. And then I showed a while back, I had bought some sparkly black ribbon to use to try to close up the kids' little gift boxes that I made for Halloween. That's not going to work because it, I didn't realize it wasn't even marked on the packaging that it was sticky. If I put that on there, it's good when they rip it off, it's going to destroy the little box. So I went to the ribbon section and they had these and I thought this was an incredible deal. It is this Yama, Yama, Y-A-M-A -A, ribbon, mega. And this is 100% polyester and it is 25 yards. 75 feet of ribbon. So I just got a black because I figured that would go with all of it. They did have other colors to choose from and it's just a simple fabric ribbon. And they did have different widths too, but I, I stuck with the one that was pretty skinny because that way I can just tie it up and make a little bow. 75 feet. I think that is great. So picked up one of those. And then for the littlest grand lady, she really loved the one book that we got like this, and it was Barbie. This one is Fisher Price Little People, and you get 100 stickers in here, and it says My Dress Up Friends Sticker and Activity Book. The Barbie one was exactly like this, but of course different, different graphics. And then we sat one day, we went to a restaurant, and she and I were working on this book. And if you see on the pages, some of them, the pictures are kind of whited out. You have to, they tell you what stickers you have to find, and then you have to place, place it on that part of the page. We had a great time going through and doing the stickers. And there are little mazes and things. She had a wonderful time, so picked up another one. When I saw this one with the little people, I just thought that would be fun for her to do. And it's very Halloween. Excellent. And then, guys, I have one plus item. This cost $5. I had already picked up one of these in the Elf. And this time I picked up Mrs. Claus. It's an apron. And she has her little belt on. It looks like it even has pockets, but I, I can't. No, it's not. They're, they're fake pockets but it looks like little pockets. It is 30 inches long by 20.4 inches wide. And I just thought this was great. It was $5 in the plus section. I, I got it while it was still there because there was only one or two left. I couldn't find another elf. So I got the Mrs. Claus. And they also had one, I believe it was red with white polka dots on it. But I really liked to stick with the Christmas theme for this. And this is actually gonna be a gift for along with that elf one. And they, they seem really nice quality. They're heavy duty. 
I need to stay out of the plus section. It's killing my budget, guys. But I'm telling you, you can't beat the stuff they have in the plus. It's just, you know, it seems very nice. Very nice quality. You know, I'm sure maybe you could find something very similar at another store or whatever. But I'm there. I'm at the Dollar Tree. So when I see something that really catches my eye, I go ahead and get it. And I do want to get another one of those $5 Christmas trees, the four-foot Christmas trees. The more I looked at that after I made the video, we're going to try to come up with something for on our front porch using that. And for $5, I thought it was, you know, really nice quality. So, all right, everybody, that is it for this haul. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away and move along with my day. I hope you're doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.